Well, as you can tell, we're back on the road again. The reason we're on the road is because of this. This is an air cylinder for paintball games. Now, this one happens to be out of date. That means that the expiration date has come and gone on this one. So what do you do with an air tank that's out of date? Well, you get it hydro tested. So that's where we're going today. We're going to Kenosha, Wisconsin, so that I can get this air tank hydro tested. My name is Matt Carey, and I'm a licensed DOT hydro tester. This is actually a professional tank place. I can clamp it in here without doing any damage to the tank, and it'll hold it nice and tight. The first thing we got to do, we remove the rag already, and uh, next we got to do a complete visual inspection on it, inside and out, threads, and look for any type of damage. Not only do we have to do one before the hydro, we also have to do a complete visual after the hydro test. So next we'll write down all the information off the tank. Your serial number, the manufacturer name. The manufacturer name is always the person that made the tank, not the reg manufacturer. It's either Carlton, SCI, or Luxfer are the three major uh, cylinder manufacturers, including Crossfire right now. This number right here, this REE 15.4, when we actually do the hydro test, this is the number that's on there. Your tank can expand past 15.4 cc's. This one is probably going to expand about, uh, I'll give a rough guess and we'll see how close I am, but this one's going to be about 14. So, as long as the expansion isn't over 15.4, your tank is good. Not all tanks have it. So, any tank with an REE, that's what that number means. It's the expansion of the tank. And then the hydro test that we have an adapter that we screw into your tank. And every day before testing, what we do is to make sure there's no leaks. We use a, a larger tank over there, and we pr do our normal test. We have certain criteria that we gotta test every morning. We gotta test the whole system for leaks and make sure it's still calibrated. is after I lock it all down, I'm going to pressurize the whole tank and get all the air out and all the air. Now we have four different barrette sizes here. What a barrette is, it's the same thing as, you know, in science class, you got those barrettes in science class or a beaker, you know, it's the way to measure cc's. There's two ways to measure cc's. You can either use this system or you can use a scale. Larger tanks are done here. Fire department dive tanks are done on the first one. Most paintballs are done on the second one, but also some of the smaller ones, so you can really get down to some of the smaller paintball tanks. And this one's in increments of uh, one cc. These are in uh, 0.5 cc's. So all we did right now, the whole system is bled out. And I know it because I closed off all these, there's no air bubbles coming out. So right now the whole system is pressurized. And the check for leaks, just to make sure we don't have any, we're gonna zero out our barrette at zero. And we'll leave it sit there for like five minutes just to let everything balance out. Just close the valve off. Here we go. I said this one was gonna expand about 14. As you can see, it's exactly at 7,500. And this tank right now, as it stands, expanded 13.8, right below 14. And then with uh, this tank, with, with this particular one, we're gonna hold the uh, pressure for uh, 60 seconds. What we look for is any change in uh, the level. This is still balanced out. We make sure equipment's not leaking and we got to stand here for the next 60 seconds and release the pressure. Now, your, this particular tank didn't come, actually come back to zero. 4.34%. Is that good or bad? That one, it could have been anything. It still passes. If that was a normal, you know, a tank without an REE, that would be bad. That'd be really bad. That, that'd be close to you know, condemning the tank. Yes, is it still good? 5% is the legal limit here. 
it really doesn't matter. We still put it down because we have to, but that's not. Had, this doesn't have anything to do with rejecting the tank. It has everything to do with this number, 15.4. Pressure heat, blown air, like not even as hot as a hair dryer. It doesn't get that hot. Maybe, uh, I don't know, 70, 70 degrees, 75. It doesn't even get that hot. We're going to look at the threads to make sure the threads didn't get damaged in the process of the hydro. That's it. That is one complete hydro test, and then the only other thing I gotta do is go mark on the sheet that there was a complete visual. And that's basically all there is to it. And once he's done, he puts a label on it right here, and it's legal. Uh, this is something that you have to do with all paintball air tanks. Depending on the tank, it's every three or five years. If you have any doubt, you can go online to several one of the websites out there and find out how often you need to have your tank hydro tested. Just remember, it is the law.